Hello everyone. Welcome to Virtual Box Series. This is tutorial number one, part one. I split this video into two parts. In the first part, we're going to install Microtech Router OS in VirtualBox and create a lab in GNS3. And in the later part, I'll show you how we can connect GNS3 simulated router OS from our local network. For this setup, we'll need few software, VirtualBox, Microtech Cloud Hosted Router Over File, GNS3, and WinBox software. First, we will download VirtualBox 5.2.18 version. So we will write VirtualBox 64 bit in our Google search. So we will download this VirtualBox from official website. Click on download. And we, if we scroll down, we will find our record file 5.2.18. So we'll download the Windows version. Save it to you. PC. Now we will download GNS3 software. So from the browser we will write GNS3 2.1.18 version. So we'll download from GitHub website. Let's click on it. So if we scroll down we will find the version that we are looking for. GS3 2.1.18 click on it we'll download the this file okay I have already downloaded this software in my PC so I will just cancel it right now now I will download Microtech cloud hosted router over file we will download it from Microtech official website if we scroll down we'll find the cloud hosted router section this one and we are looking for the over template this one so click it to download save it to your PC So we have downloaded our required file to this PC. Now we will install VirtualBox first. So click on the VirtualBox. Installing VirtualBox software is pretty straightforward. Just click next and next and finish. Click next. I don't need any shortcut for my desktop, so I'll uncheck it. And finish. Click finish. Okay, first we will import our router OS file from our local PC. So we click import appliance. Browse it from your local PC. From the download folder you can find it click finish check this box and click import keep the default settings you don't need to change anything here now I will install GNS3 software. Installing GNS3 is pretty straightforward too. Click next, next, I agree, and next. Install. See, it will ask for Wireshare software. I don't need that software, so I just skip it, or you can just cancel it. So I'll just cancel this. I don't need Wireshark software right now. You can cancel it. No. This will download the solar wind putty software. You can download it.
click next I don't need that software so next finish now we will open GNS3 software and we have to connect GNS3 software with VirtualBox router OS cancel it and go to the edit under the preference to the virtual box BMS section click new check this box and click finish now we will edit it from the network Increase view adapter for your router. From the general tab, category as router, and from the symbol, okay. yeah, I choose this one. Click OK. Apply and OK. Now from now we will create a project give it a name any name you want i will give it as test underscore configure on f now select this symbol find out our router microbit router that we have created we will take two routers Now we'll connect this two router with cable from here. Ether zero to ether zero. Press it to show the interface name. Now press this start button. To boot up our router. We will set up IP address on both routers from router terminal and we will test it by pinging each other. Right click on the router, go to the console. So our terminal will open. My router login default is admin, password, no password. Click end to no. Now we will add IP address on both router. From the terminal, we will write the command for IP address. Add address on slash thirty. We'll give a point-to-point -point IP here. Interface will be Ether one. In GNS3, it shows Ether zero, but in terminal, it is actually Ether one. So from this terminal from same router, we will type the same command, IP address set it. Interface will be Ether1. Now we'll test it by pinging. We'll test to our first router from the second router, 1.1. Yeah, we can ping to our first router from same router. Now we'll test from the first router. Yeah, now you can see we can ping each other. That's all for the first part. See you in the next part.